Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sleepy, and welcome back to Noel, The Mortal Fate, Season 3, Bury the Past. Let us see what's going on, to continue, uh, what's continuing. So apparently, Major Mayor Burroughs uh, shot his now former secretary. Uh, let's continue. Oh, I'm just, I want to know what's gonna go, what's gonna happen next. I can't wait. Oh, we are on a lonely island. Oh, it looks so good. Is it so... I didn't expect to come here again. I don't know who... I just say it's... Said Noel says that, so... May have been Karen. Damn. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That was bad. Damn. <coughs> Damn. Brr. I need to, to grumble a little bit, sorry. Damn. <coughs> What's wrong? Damn. Oh. Doesn't matter to me. <sighs> uh. Karen, what is this? We dove into the sea from the rooftop of Aquarius. And it seems like we were swi swimming for a long time. Noel, Witch of Mortal Fate. A rocky area behind the city. Nobody will come. Noel, turn on the TV. Electricity is working. Red eyed devil, Karen. Bird face. T TV? Rather than that, are you okay? I fell down from that height and swam along the seashore while holding you. It's hard to say I'm okay, but I won't die. Anyway, turn on the TV. I want to know what's happening now. <clears throat> uh, okay. Is... really? Sorry for the coughing. Hey, I got a 1P! I did the mission, guys! One night, the shopping company, a shipping company, Aquarius' head office, was attacked. Many drones and security systems defending the office were destroyed. Nearby, one helicopter crashed and burst into flames. In the security camera feed, there is a clear shot of the assailant, and the identity was a shock to the citizens of Laplace. The suspect's name is Noel Piketty. Ah, oh, the music is so good. Ah, oh, the music is so good. I need to look up if I can find the soundtrack somewhere. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, that's what I suppose is going to happen. A 15-year-old girl, recently gone missing, is said to have been involved in a violent act of unknown purpose with the devil. However, at the scene, which was completely surrounded by, by police forces, there were no suspects to be found. It is unknown if the suspect is dead or alive, or if there was an escape route. Currently, the suspect is wanted by the police. Well, that's bad. <clears throat> Due to recent events, Mayor Burroughs is holding an emergency press conference. Mayor, do you have any comments related to this incident? It's a truly horrible incident. I don't know how she came to agree on a contract with the devil, but this is unacceptable behavior. Indeed, the deeds of the devil, no matter the reason. A contract with the devil is a crime. And the summoned devil is unnecessary to Laplace. I, Russell Burroughs, as the representative of Laplace, am arranged with this angered with this terrorism. Sorry, I nearly spoke the truth there. And for the safety of the people, plan for a quick arrest. So please, I ask for the help of the citizens of Laplace. We will never succumb to a terrorist dealing with the devil. Let's protect Laplace together. Please, Mayor! Our mayor will take care of us. Our mayor will take care of us, sorry. Please, quickly arrest that terrorist. Well? As I expected. I can't stand that the mayor says whatever he wants. But it looks like we haven't been found yet. I think we can manage to rest here. But the police weren't on our side from the beginning. It looks like it will be difficult for us to walk in public. I agree. And finally, we've been 
turned into, into criminals, into proper criminals. We finally did it, Karen. My second dream came true after the pianist thing went down the drain. Anyways, Karen, I will ask you this time. Tell you what? Uh, sorry, tell you what? Of course, what you were talking about at the Aquarius rooftop with the mayor and Sibylla. I want to know. You and Mayor Burroughs, what's your relationship? After all, do you want to know? That is, of course. Sibylla said something about how you and the mayor made a contract. <coughs> this was my hideout, long before I was summoned by you in Laplace. If you search, there should be traces. If you want to know, find it. Yourself. I bruised my body when I hit the water. We can't walk out in public anyways. I'll take a little rest. This hideout, the secret between you and the mayor. Okay, take a rest. I look for anything interesting and show you. Do that. Why would you show him, or is this a, like a weird translation? First, this room. Okay. Season 3, Bury the Past. So, I think I'm getting an allergy on milk, because every time I drink milk, I start coughing. It's weird. Oh, I can say. Um, it's kind of weird, since I was sick that day. That week. Oh, Karen has one life. There's only a hanger in the locker. No, no clothing there. I guess that's unrelated. This is a book related to politics. Maybe because of the salty air, the book is crackling. This book and this one too. All the books are about politics. This... That's right, Mayor Burroughs is a politician. Maybe Mayor Burroughs is reading these here. Let's ask Karen. Karen, this book about politics, does it belong to you or...? <coughs> I wonder. What do you think, Noel? I think this... I think this book belongs to me at Burroughs. All books here are related to politics. Well, I mean... Karen could be interested in politics. I don't think this is for Bur from Burroughs, but I just... Just give it the chance, you know? I don't expect the devil to have this many books about politics. A devil, not the devil. You're right. That book does not belong to me. That book belongs to the young city council member who once summoned me, the great devil. We were plotted together in this hideout. That happened in this rocky place. Calm waves, but the noisy night. Oh, okay. This was from Burroughs, apparently. Oh. Devil Karen, I have been summoned at your request. The devil? Wow, it's true. <clears throat> Who do you sacrifice for this? Man, did you summon me? Y yes, I summoned you. Which means you must follow my commands, right? <clears throat> um, do I follow your orders? What are you talking about? What? Whether a summoned great devil makes a contract with that person or not, it's the decision of the devil itself. It is not yours to make. I don't want to fulfill some boring request. <clears throat> what? That's all I know. With a deal, the great devil becomes the contractor's familiar. I heard the great devil is a mighty warrior. <clears throat> How insolent. You have the wrong information. The devil and the contractor are not equal. I don't become your familiar, and it depends on how I feel to make a deal with you. If you keep insulting me with this nonsense, I will tear you limb from limb. Uh, oh my god. So, so what should I do? Hey, he's over here! Uh. He's, he's with the devil! We thought you ran away. But you were hiding, devil. You're a crook yourself. <clears throat> oh, did you mess up in the underworld? 
what kind of situation is this? Okay, can't you see? I was on the run. I uh, prepared to summon the devil here in case of an emergency. But if you didn't realize, <coughs> this is the emergency. What are you talking about? Don't involve me without my permission. What should we do? Our devil's dangerous. <coughs> we can't handle the devil. Look at him, he's so thin and weak. It'll be nothing. Crew, skinny with a bird head. We'll teach him how humans rule. Oh boy. Did you just call the great devil weak? On top of that, a bird head. You. I'll listen to what you want later. C can I take care of them? Rather than... Rather... Are you angry? <coughs> <coughs> Something to deck it. Bird head. <coughs> well, apparently he's saying fuck you, so... <coughs> I don't know why this is censored. Oh, well, I guess... Now this game isn't targeted to children. There's so much blood and fucked up shit going on, then no way. Why that you would censor the word fuck you? Now is the chance to go home. Insolent whelps. Wait, I'm just... Oh, I have... I have, I have had un infinite lives, okay. Yeah, there's so much fucked up shit going on, there's no way to the children. <coughs> so I don't... Everyone! Petty humans. You better choose your words carefully if you don't want to end up like these guys. Devils can be offended by small matters. Man, young Burroughs looks cool. And nice, not like old Burroughs. <coughs> or slightly older Burroughs. Now tell me what you want. If I like what I hear, I'll grant your request. For a price. But if it's a stupid desire, you must take responsibility for wasting my time. <coughs> I... I... I'm Russell Burroughs, city council member in Laplace. I want to stand at the top of Laplace. Become the strongest and listen to no one. Eight years ago, okay. <coughs> in other words, you desire power. If, if I wish so, can you grant that power to me now? An easy task. <coughs> I see, but that's not what I desire. I wanted to see you, uh the strongest bodyguard. I want to stand at the top of Laplace, but I don't want the position handed to me. I want the power to overcome the barriers. To break down the walls needed to reach the top of Laplace. Why? Oh, whoops. <coughs> Skip that. A devil's contract is meant to omit that process and to give money and power suddenly. There's no point otherwise. I don't want the power itself. <coughs> the Mafia, the old council members, anyone. Who look down at me because of my age. I want to make them... I want to take them down and have them acknowledge me, fear me. Authority will follow naturally as a result. There's no meaning in having a rank without the power. <coughs> actually, that's quite right, yes. That's actually not that wrong. Hmm. So it's not power you desire, but the force to gain power. I see. This better suits a pitiful man who ran away from the Mafia. T that... that's why I need your help. If you don't want to be my bodyguard, then at least give me a devil's power. <coughs> the Mafia might stop chasing you if you give up that power. Despite that, if you want to make a contract with the devil and throw away daily life to gain power and authority... Yes, if the Mafia wants to come to me, if I stand at the top of the place, that's the same as being dead. I don't understand. <clears throat> What's wrong with my throat today? My god, wait a second. Holy hell. I don't understand. Why do you desire power to this extent? Why should I tell everything to someone I just met? Okay. I don't need to know. The request itself isn't bad. It's simple and human-like ambition. I don't dislike such desires. So, I shall lend my power to you as you desire. Blech. However, there are two conditions. First, I will never give you any special abilities. 
fight against every enemy with your incom incompetent body. As you said, I'm just a helping bodyguard, whether or not the enemy is the Mafia. Okay, I expected that from the beginning. And the second condition is the trade-off. You told me that you don't want power, right? Then, this contract <coughs> stands until you become the mayor of Laplace. At that moment, the contract will expire. And after, your life as mayor will lead to your downfall. That is the trade-off. Downfall? That's... In other words, you fight for your own destruction. Oh, that's twisted, Karen. <clears throat> if your words are true, there is no problem, is there? If you can accept these conditions, our contract is settled. <laughs> what do you think? Will you board a luxury liner doomed to sink? Can you risk your life for that? I... I... Oh, okay. <clears throat> so essentially what's happening now is just... <coughs> literally fate. <clears throat> so that was the encounter with Major Burroughs. Yes. In the end, he agreed to the terms and made a contract with me. Towards his demise as the mayor. That was the beginning of the battle to become mayor. Why did he want to become mayor even if it would lead to his downfall? With that kind of contract, even if he success, uh, succeeds in becoming mayor, he can't keep the position for very long. Wait, did the current mayor... Don't rush. This is just a start. Our contract began with those terms. I see. But you always require such crude trade-offs. Even for me, you ripped off the limbs of a future ceremony musician. Hmm. I'll take it as a compliment. Okay, I'm feeling better. We can't stay here forever. Let's move. You're right. By the way, why don't you continue talking? I can walk. Devils recover easily. I will continue the story when I take my next rest. So just have to get him beat up again. Hmm. Perfect detective skills for making no mistake. Okay, that's good. Uh, but you're nearly dead, bro. Look at the corridor. I have a bad feeling. Ah, that's a thermal sensor. Why is that kind of security set up here? Shit. It's Burroughs. He already knows about this place. Of course he knows. He studied there with you, Karen. What are you thinking? God damn it, Karen. For once. He may have realized ever since we escaped the mayor's residence. Burroughs must have been monitoring this place, because it was a secret hideout for Burroughs and for me as well. So, he may have predicted you would try to hide here. We have no choice. We have to avoid those senses to move on. There's nothing we can do if the police barge in. We have a little, we have a little more to go until we reach the exit. While moving carefully, I'll tell you about what happened. Okay, I thought I had to do that. I just need to check how this looks like. Okay. So it's this way. Shit, let's pull back for now. I... That was a close call. They didn't notice us. We should be more careful next time. Okay, so do not move too early, I see, okay. We would steal as many guns as we want. We could steal as many guns as we wanted from the Mafia we took down. Of course, a gunshot mark will become investigation material, so they couldn't shoot carelessly. Do you want to look for the gun, too? No, I have no need for one now. Okay. I want to go up, though. Oh, wait. Ooh, that was close. Ok, 
Okay. Oh shit. This is an artificial flower. One day, Burroughs brought it. Apparently, this cape was lacking in color for his taste. He's more feminine than I expected. Oh shit! What? Okay, I can't stand here, that's good. Oh! oh thank goodness. <coughs> oh, there's the exit. Breakthrough! Yeah, didn't get the stealth thing. Well, doesn't matter. Oh, the next rest, that's good. I need to rest. Are you really okay? I'm not in perfect condition yet. <clears throat> but it's too bad, but it's much better than before. While I rest, why don't you explore this room? This room is, so to speak, a briefing room. <clears throat> where Burrs and I would conspire. Any important material was disposed when we left. But perhaps there's still some scraps left. If you want to know, look for yourself. <clears throat> you mean battle records of you and the mayor? You just tell me. I feel exhausted. You have to work if you want to know. I have no choice. You can take a rest for a while. I'm going to explore this room for a while. If you find something, show it me one by one. I lose interest if you ask everything at once. <coughs> so there's multiple stuff in here. So books, empty shelves... Oh, sorry. These books are a collection of road and area maps. Shit. Well, that man can afford the time. That man couldn't afford the time. Ra rather, so I'm reading those magazines. It's unrelated. The documents are scattered everywhere. The ink is blurry and hard to read. Decoy, city, dangerous warehouse. Yes, this clearly looks like a plan for something. This must have something to do with Mayor Burroughs and Karen's schemes. Let's ask. Well, I messed up the no error thing. Karen, is this part of the plan that you used to fight against Mafia? <clears throat> that was still around, but that, what actually, that was actually a draft. Here, Burroughs was thinking how he and I could fight a powerful organization like the Mafia. He often referred to something, but <clears throat> what was it? I'm sure you remember clearly. If you want to know, think like Burroughs. I will tell you for free. The mayor referred to something to create the plan. To fight against the Mafia. I have no choice to look, to, to look for it. Something in here? This is... liquor cabinet. Why is something like this here? This is... Yeah, okay, that's bad. Now, these towels and clothing covered in dust. Surely that you sometimes slept in. Wait, can I go further now, right? Let's search this room. <coughs> but what was it? Documents. Ah, shit! You found some books. Huh, you might be wrong. Um, but no books that look relevant. I think I'm heading the right direction there. It's a whiteboard. It's blank, covered in dust. Oh god damn it, now I'm messing up. <coughs> but what else? There's nothing else in here, apart from the liquor. This is a liquor cabinet, man. No, it's not related. There's some books and empty shelves. Really? Now it's related suddenly? That's right. If you wanted to fight outnumbered against the Mafia in Laplace, there's a good chance he was calculating geographical advantages while working out a strategy. The map looks like... The map looks like... Looks one or two. Let's ask Karen. Wasn't that... Not a thing before? <coughs> this map. It looks worn out. So, what about it? In other words, in the mayor's battle with the Mafia... <laughs> like looking at maps. He used geography to his advantage, to close the difference in numbers, and take up 
the, uh, take the upper hand. There are also a lot of notes about the terrain in the draft plan. How nostalgic. Yes, indeed. Instead of fighting the Mafia directly, we lured them onto an area advantageous to us and attacked. We never fought under unfavorable circumstance. Many of his plans were carefully thought out. But the Mafia are not stupid enough to win with just that. Sometimes there was no choice but to engage in dangerous battle. <clears throat> During strategy meetings, we often drunk that thing and discussed heart to heart. Do you know what evil medicine is? I wonder if it's still in this room. Yeah, that's a liquor. Okay, so I have to do it in a certain order. That's a little bit meh. Oh, I suppose while drinking they were strategizing. I wonder if that is... That's us, Karen. Wait, you were drunk while you did that? Must be some messed up plans you made then. Holy hell. <coughs> you mean this alcohol, right? What do you mean? Evil medicine? Yes, you're right. But it's good medicine to loosen up a cautious per a caution, cautious person. This place, the plan, the alcohol. I remember the days we found fought together. I had Russell think of number numerous battles and fight of his own. Sometimes I helped and watched him grow. Talk to like he's your son. I mean I guess. <coughs> oh cool. Flashback time. Assassination, threats, corruption. I've committed various crimes up today. To be honest, it hasn't hit me yet, though. That's because no one suspected you. If you made a mistake right now, you'd be busy with the police chasing after you. <coughs> Thank you, Karen. When I shot the politicians connected to the Mafia, I thought it was enough if they sent to the hospital or intimidated, but you recommended that I shouldn't leave things half done and to kill them, and I followed your advice. When I tortured the Mafia boss, I only thought to hurt him, but you said it should take his family and his friends as hostages, and I followed your advice. Your advice is terrifying, but leaves results. Every time I realize I still have a lot to learn. Yes, Russell, you are immature. You still lack the commitment to kick down others without mercy. You are going to battle with the enemy while bringing along the devil. Any person who sees you, woman or child, must be killed. Right. Oh yeah, he was merciless back then. <laughs> was today's liquor weak? Drink more. Abandon reason and only think about your goal. Honestly, I didn't think you would get this far. You are doing very well. The bloody dictator seed of Laplace, Laplace will soon be yours. Maybe we should open this brandy too. Don't say things like that. I don't want to be a dictator. I just want to be at the top. It all sounds the same to me. Why do you fuss over the details when we talk about this? Leave it alone. You can think of me as picky. We're almost at the end. If this plan goes well, my achievement, the next mayor, will surely be me. But it's a large-scale plan. I can't give you instructions the whole time. True. On the spot, it m I must become the devil. Laplace Central Hospital, tomorrow. Everything will be decided there. The Mafia, the Rosso family, and the Bianco family. And my father, the current Laplace mayor, Araldo Burroughs. Tomorrow, I set up a plan for everyone to gather at the Central Hotel. I've been repair uh, preparing a long time at this moment. But the payoff will be significant. Tomorrow we provoke and attack each of the Mafia and attack each of the Mafia groups. It will be a historic clash of the Mafias. Does this play in Italy? I don't know if I said that before, but it very, very, very much reminds me of playing in Italy. Which would be cool. We make it look like it happened during the conflict and kill the current mayor, your father. After that, play along with the police who are on your side. Meet up with them so you can control the situation. Both mafias who hold power over Laplace 
and the current player will be gone. And with your leadership, the situation will be controlled. Although your performance will depend on your skills. It's not a bad idea, right? You truly are a devil, Karen. To make a son kill his father at the very end. Your father is the mayor, and to stand at the top of the plus, he is in the way. <laughs> can you do it? For your for your downfall as mayor, can you kill your father? Yes, I can do it. I'll kill my father and complete this plan. I changed the voice because I like the idea of at a certain point him stop being so wimpy and just <coughs> going with it. I don't want to pry, but I still don't understand. Why are you so driven to be at the top? Why go so far to even kill your father? As far as I know, for humans, killing your own parents is a sin. So annoying. You don't want to pry, don't even ask. There are things I don't want to tell you. And I don't have to be told by you. But for me, killing Araldo Burroughs is an inevitable test. Anyways, weren't you the one who told me to abandon reason? Hmm. i never seen anyone work so hard while working with the devil. Because of that, I've taken quite an interest in you. You're different from all my past victims. Not even partners, straight up victims. It's not shallow, but the deep-rooted ambition you have. It's unfortunate I can't hear that directly from you. As for myself, I'm curious about the fate of your last days after fulfilling your desire. Then, please continue to help me tomorrow. Tomorrow's mission will decide my future. Then to cheer up, let's open this brandy finally. I want to get stupidly drunk and dance on the table again. Huh. Just make sure it doesn't interfere with tomorrow's plan. <coughs> Holy hell. So I don't know for how long I'm re Oh yeah, I can see there for how long I'm recording. So I will end the episode shortly after we do. Ow! Yeah. What? Pietro is done. What happened? Was it the Russell family? In broad daylight here? Shit. Heathens! Why heathens? That's weird. Maybe it's a religious mafia. I don't know anything about mafias. So, about mafia families, I mean. Protect the boss, call for help. Let's split up here. I'll instigate Bianca. You'll take care of Rosso. This will be a bloodiest mission. Are you ready? If I'm not ready, I'll die. Are you okay? Even if though you're the devil, I know you have been no, not invincible. Are you concerned for me? Well, sure, of course. It'll be a problem if you die. How interesting. I won't be defeated that easily. Worry about yourself, Russell. We better move. Then, let's meet upstairs. You're Russell Burroughs! Sorry. Now that you've seen me, I have to kill you. Touch the enemy? Oh, uh... What's happening? It's already the twelfth report of a shooting. It's the Mafia. Russell and Bianco are fighting in this hotel. What? Why so suddenly? It's so dangerous to move the guests carelessly. There are no... There's no choice but to wait for help from the police. starting to lose my sense of judgment. It's probably because of the unusual situation too. I just killed the way people, but I still, I'm still calm. And my injuries, they don't hurt at all. That's called adrenaline. It looks like I can still keep going. Now... The Russell family, the Russell family attacked! Cheer me on! Shit! Cheer me on? Here and there! Our hands are full! Hold them off! Get away from here and let them destroy each other. But even more, fight until it's out of control. That's an entrance. Who else is this? The devil? 
So you are the Rosso family. It's a contract with Bianco's family. With Bianco's family. Die. Son of a bitch! How dare the Bianco family attack us here like this? I just... Thank goodness I have unlimited lives in here. I need to let the others know the Bianco family's attack. Yes, let everyone know. The Bianco family has attacked. The Rossos attack the Biancos. The Biancos attack the Rossos. Both bosses are in this hotel, so they will fight desperately. Fight each other, shoot each other, and perish together. Be a nice preseason to see how the, all this plan unfolded. Sell my face. Of course, all the security cameras are off, and I've prepared an alibi for the hours before and after the incident. Even if any mafia members survive and caught, my name on the surface. Everything's ready. Let's go to room 906. Karen should already be waiting in the room for Father's staying. Oh, okay. thank you for the thank you for the arrow. That's actually good help. I would have not known where to go otherwise. Oh shoot! How much dead guys? Generic security pers personnel one. <coughs> they just had a heart attack from seeing Karen. You're finally here. Everything's ready. You knocked him out? If you came here first, you could have taken care of it. No, you have to kill him and show your commitment. I'm only a helping hand. It's natural I won't lay a hand on the current mayor. Hmm, I see. Of course, attention would be a problem too. I made him unconscious out of pity for you. Pity? Take as much time as you need, but you must kill him. Last night you said, without me having to tell you, killing Araldo Burroughs is an inevitable test. Then, overcome it. Prove how ambitious you are. Say, Karen, I guess that's a difference in how you and I think. You're saying choosing between power or my father's life is a test to gain the mayor's chair, but for me, before this man, that's not how I see it. What do you mean? For me, this man is a burden. I've never had any other feelings for him for a long time. If I pull this trigger now, everything tying me down will fall away. All that's left be euphoria. So, I can do it. For me, it's easy. Yes. I only have to pull the trigger. With this, I have everything I wanted. Oh, shit! I thought he would hesitate for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, just shoot a couple of more times. To be sure, I don't know if a headshot kills an old man. Maybe he's like the grandpa from uh, Remothered. It's done. It's finished. Now. I never have to listen to anyone. My contract with the devil. I fulfilled it. <laughs> he did so easily. It doesn't matter that he is the current mayor or my father. What's important is that he is Araldo Burroughs. This man. This man. What? Nothing. After this, I'll join the police. You should leave here first. I've made up my mind a long time ago to kill anyone who gets in my way. Finally, I'll be free. Today I took care of everything at this hotel. Everything holding me back will be gone. Finally, Russell Burroughs' life will start. Do you mean... Russell? I'm going. I regarded him as a weakling at first, and he became an unexpected monster. It's true I helped him, but to get this far by himself, 
I'm looking forward to see your demise, but... Russell, what pushes you this far? <coughs> Holy shit! That's serious. I thought he would always be a coward and soft-headed, but I was wrong. From the beginning, he had the cold-hearted capability to do anything to achieve his ambitions. Oh, this is why it changed, isn't it? I can understand the massacre of the Mafia. It's kind of... Mayor-like. But how could he kill his own father so easily? To kill his own parent for power that would lead to his demise? He's insane. Even until the end, he never talked to me about it. If you want to know, ask him directly. But it's true without a doubt that the one who created the insanity of Russell Burroughs is me. But isn't that the devil's fun? It seems like you really enjoyed it too. Yes. At least, at the time while I was surprised by his actions, I enjoyed his sudden change and looked forward to his future downfall. At least, at the time. It's not the end yet. His story. Okay, let's pause here for now. My body is feeling better. We're almost to the exit. There's another opportunity. I will continue this story. No, no, no. We've got this far. Please finish the story. We need to draw it out like... Do we need to draw it out like this? I'm exhausted from talking. That's all. Mm, that's good. So, I will end the episode here because otherwise this upload will never happen because it will take hours to do that. Do I have ointments? No, okay. So... I hope you enjoyed the video, as always, my name is Sleepy, yada yada yada, all that bullshit that YouTube wants, have a good night.